You guys, it's time for another vintage unboxing. This one came from an estate sale and we're starting off strong with scarves. Oh, and they threw in this little vintage box too. Castles and knights. Oh, and a little cottage vibe. Some 70s polyester action. And geometric. And an egg from the 70s, I think. We got a whole family of these. Four babies and four adults. Little tray with a stopwatchy kind of vibe. I think it's 725. This one's newer, but I love the tea vibe. Ooh. And we got a salt and pepper shaker somewhere in here. There's his mate. That's not his mate. Ooh, look at that. Also not his mate, but cute little guy. Oh, we found his mate. He's pooping pepper. He couldn't hold it any longer. <laughs> we got a vintage puppy family. I just did the thought for the day and I want to do a little teaser for you. If you've been going through a rough spell lately, stay till the end. It's worth it. What is this for? Yeah, you put this in the bottom of your vase and your flowers will stand in there. They call it a flower frog. Vintage green little planter. Something like that, but he's a little big for this bowl. Look at this one. It has so much patina. You might also call that a little grease, but you know, we'll take care of that. This is so unusual, only one handle turns. It's like this little denty goodness guy. And it almost didn't pick this up because it's got so much patina, but I'm like, you know what? Somebody's gonna love that chippy goodness. Look at this. I used to have one exactly like this when I was a kid, but it was brown. And two owls with tons of patina. These guys are so cute. We got a cross stitch needlework. A friend is one who listens with the heart. Yeah. And this beauteous print. I mean, that's gorgeous. It needs a lot of cleaning up though. And last but not least, we got this owl like shadow box art dealy thing. It's like paper in kind of relief fashion. Time for a thought for the day. This says, deep in their roots, all flowers keep the light. Oh, think about that. Actually, if you know how the trees work during the seasons, in the winter, when they are the most dormant, is when they are soaking up all the nutrients for what's to come. So, gosh, if you're in a season of your life right now where you're feeling like one of those winter trees where everything seems to have fallen off and nothing's working quite right, actually, that's the season where you can be soaking up for what's to come. So yeah, soak. I mean, do that because your spring is right around the corner. It is. Mind you. Ooh, this guy almost got left behind. The lone wolf. Oh. 